Good morning. The verse of the day is Isaiah 26, 9. My soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. When your judgments come upon the earth, the earth will learn righteousness. This is from the prophet Isaiah. And what he is speaking about is the millennial reign of Christ. To understand this millennial reign of Christ, though, we, we have to read the whole chapter. We've got to read everything in this context. So, this is a song of praise. And he's singing, in, in that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God makes salvations, its walls and ramparts. Open the gates that the righteous nation may enter. The nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace those who are, whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. We are now a nation of those that believe in Yeshua. There's two types of people. Those that have accepted the Lord and those that have not. It's not based upon our skin tone or, or what ethnicity it is. It's... If we accepted what the Lord came to do for us, to die on the cross and to resurrect for our sins. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal. He humbles those who dwell on high. He lays the lofty city low. He levels it to the ground and casts it down to the dust. So those who dwell on high right now, they will be laid low. They will be we put down feet trample it down the feet of the oppressed the footsteps of the poor the people that are oppressed right now the people who are poor right now they will trample down these high cities the meek shall inherit the earth as it says the meek shall inherit the earth for a time right now the lofty the proud man they're up at high the path of the righteous is level, you, the upright one. Make the way of the righteous smooth. Yes, Lord, walking in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and renown and the desires of our hearts. My soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. When your judgments come upon the earth, the earth, the people of the earth, the people of the world will learn righteousness. So let me say it again. My son, my soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. When your judgments come upon the earth, the people of the world learn righteousness. See, when the Lord comes to reign for a thousand years, the people of the earth, the ones that that are still here, they're going to learn righteousness. Even the ones that did not accept Christ, they will learn righteousness and they won't like it. They will not enjoy it. A lot of the people will not want to do what is right. They will miss the old way of things. They will miss the murders and the, the all the bad things. Killing babies fighting, doing doing things that are unnatural, that God has not decreed natural to men, they will miss these things, yet they cannot do it because Christ will reign from corner to corner, corner of the globe, and he will reign for a thousand years. So, but when grace is shown to the wicked, they do not learn righteousness. Grace will be shown to them at this time. Even in the land of uprightness, they go on doing evil and do not regard the majesty of the Lord. They will be in that land and they will want to do evil in that land. They want to do rage war, but they can, can't. Lord, your hand is lifted high, but they do not see it. Let them see your zeal for your people and be put to shame. Let the fire reserved for your enemies consume them. At the end of the thousand year reign, there will be fire that comes down from heaven and it will devour enemies. It will devour Satan who is let loose from captivity and all the people that follow him after the end of the thousand year reign 
of Jesus Christ. They said they'll be as numerous as the grains of sand. And that fire will come down. Lord, you established peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. Lord our God, other lords beside you have ruled over us. But your name alone do we honor. There's other people that rule over us at this time. There are other presidents, kings, majesties, prime ministers, emperors, dictators. These people rule over us now. But in the thousand years of Christ, they won't rule over us. Only Yeshua will sit on the throne. It said, Lord, our God, other lords beside you have ruled over us. But your name alone do we honor. They are now dead. They live no more. Their spirits do not rise. You punished them and brought them to ruin. You wiped out all memory of them. All these fake idols, all these gods that we have worshipped over time, that <laughs> false gods, of course, but all these people that we have worshipped as gods, Nimrod, Ashtoreth, Dagon, Baal, all of them, there won't be any statues of them no idols of them buddha there won't be any of that they will all be smashed to pieces the lord will reign they are now dead they live no more their spirits do not rise you punished them and brought them to ruin you wiped out all memory of them you have enlarged the nation lord you have enlarged the nation many have accepted the lord the nation is now all those, not the ethnicity, many people. You have gained glory for yourself. You have extended all the borders of the land. The whole earth will be the Lord's. Lord, they came to you in their distress. When you disciplined them, they could barely whisper a prayer. As a pregnant woman about to give birth, rise and cries in her pain, so were we in your presence, Lord. We were with child... We arrived in labor, but we gave birth to wind. Yes, at the times that we're dealing with right now, it's very, it's very saddening for, for a lot of us, especially when we know all the atrocities that are going, that are going on around. But... We have not brought salvation to the earth, and the people of the world have not come to life. But your dead will live, Lord. Their bodies will rise. Let those who dwell in the dust wake up and shout for joy. This is talking about right previous, right before the millennial reign, the, the rapture, where those who are dead will rise. Those who are dead and that accepted the Lord will rise up. The dead will rise first. Your dew is like the dew of the morning. The earth will give birth to her dead. So go, my people, enter your rooms and shut the doors behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until his wrath has passed by. This is talking about those that did die right now as we sleep and wait for the Lord to come and, and to raise, raise us to be with him. Those that have accepted Christ. They sleep. They wait for the wrath of the Lord to come after what is the Antichrist and things. They wait for that wrath. That seven years that the Antichrist gets. And then they will come back. See, the Lord is coming out of his dwelling to punish the people of the earth for their sins. The earth will disclose the bloodshed on it. The earth will conceal its slain no more. All these people, all this evil that has happened and, and is hidden all these people that have died the earth will cry out there will no longer be hidden all things will be judged nothing will be hidden as Cain killed Abel and the earth cried out for the blood that was slain there every body, every person that was slain will be cried out when I look at this verse, I, I I see when you go back to it, Isaiah 26, 9. Let me go back to it. It's also for us dealing with right now. My soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. 
When your judgments come upon the earth, the people of the world learn righteousness. I long for the day that evil does not reign. I long for the day, day and night, morning. The Lord's always has that yearning in me to want the things to be okay. Yes, it seems like evil is winning sometimes. It seems like evil is winning now. But there will come a time where the Lord will reign. And keep that in the back of your mind, those who are, who are waiting for justice to be, be served. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for your word. My, alert, my soul yearns for you day and night, Father. I meditate on your word day and night. And I'm happy to know that in the end, you will reign. That your will be done in heaven as it is in earth. That every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. No matter what it looks like. Lord, in the end, you win. So thank you, Father, for that. And may many souls be warned. May many souls be blessed. May many come to know you. In Yeshua's name, amen. Goodbye.